so today I'm just giving you a quick um, flip through of my January spread for my bullet journal I know I did not get to do my normal setup with you guys but I just wanted to show you guys what I did for the month so I'm just gonna give you a quick flip through so this is my cover page for the month and I decided to go with leaves and plants and growth new growth and I chose the team grow through what you go through by G Shetty and I decided to use a little plant pot with a little plant coming out of it like I said leaves plants growth because that's what I was focusing on for the month of January and here I just have some leaves and you know a plant growing up out of some soil so I decided to use my normal spread for my calendar for January and I just wrote in a few things I left it in pencil on purpose but anyways um, yeah and I have my goals written here again in pencil I do a lot of things in pencil and then I write it over just so that I don't make mistakes my YouTube milestones I wrote in some of it there and then my habit tracker I did it somewhat different this time I decided to go all the way across with the numbers and we have 31 you know January has 31 days so I did it just a bit different. I use one to three, three, um, three spaces for each habit tracker, and I have water, right, read. Some of them I did not fill in because I didn't really do much, or I didn't track them for that month, so I left them out. So those that you see filled in is what I actually tracked. And I have my sleep tracker here. Let me zoom out a bit. Right, so I have my sleep tracker here, and I entered the hours in pencil as well as you would have noticed. This end here, at the end of the month, I did not track it. it was not well, unfortunately. Um, from the ending of January kind of like the last week in January straight up until right now I'm still in recovery but anyways that 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 is a whole other story about my sleep so I just decided to do a little plant here as the picture and my mood tracker it was actually the first full month that I did track my mood and I'm very happy about that I, so I um I had happy kind of like confused or not sure sad um sad with tears like actually crying and angry so I did decide to draw some pots some little pots and little plants and because usually plants will be green I left the plants green and decided to color the pots the different colors instead for the moods so that was that and for my weekly spreads I of course wrote the month and the days of here drew a little leaf and I decided to go with this format it's the same block format I used before like I interchange it um, but I just decided to kind of round up the edges and I really like this look so I think I may be doing this more often than just the ordinary square blocks because it does look it does look good right and I kept the, the colors like blue and green as you would have noticed from the beginning because I like how those two colors look together with the blue and the green of 
course I have um, a whole weekly spread the first four days fit air because it, the month started on Wednesday so that was perfect and then I did the spreads normal um, of course I have important here as I said all these things have well most of them have stuff written in there but it's in pencil yeah so I decided to do a little row of leaves there just to have a difference and I try to use different shades of green as well if you notice because I have quite a lot of green color pencils and markers so right so this was another thing that I did I drew some little plants with the grass growing I didn't even bother to call it the grass this again is a different type of green of course I have my important stuff and this is the last month where it ended on a Friday and of course here I have a small gratitude log so guys that's it for my January spread yes I know it's late but I just wanted to show you guys what I did so far yeah have you guys started bullet journaling for the new year let me know down below in the comment section below if you enjoy this video and if you want to see more videos like this please give this video a thumbs up I'd appreciate it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye